to enable.org presents mathematical literacy. Finance, personal income and expenditure, exercises C and D. Right, now in this uh, video uh, clip we're going to look at uh, exercise C which is about personal expenditure, about Jackson's motorcycle, Nicole's job, and exercise D, personal income and expenditure, about Kara's muffins, healthy muffins. Right, now let's continue to the uh, presentation. Jackson is a student and he has a motorcycle. He summarizes his motorcycle expenses for the past six months. Complete the table, uh, the total and the average column. A formula for average expenses is a total expense divided by the number of months. How much did Jackson spend on average per month on his motorcycle? cycle? Read this answer from the completed table. Right, now here's the table. He, these are his loan repayments. 875. Okay, so if you add all this 875, you get the 5250. On average, it is 875 per month. For new tires, it was 1,500 Rand. The total is 1,500. And if you divide it by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 months, we get 250 per month. Maintenance is 465 in February and 837 in May and 213 in June and that's 1095 in total which average on 182.50 Fuel differs from month to month it amounts to 1848 cents and the average is 308 rand and total and in total he spent over the last 6 months 9,693 Rand and uh, the average is 1,615 Rand 50 cents for per month. Right, so they, these are answers A and B for exercise C number one. Okay, the next ex question. Give one possible reason why his fuel expenses were so high in April. The tippies think real life ideas. The weather is still very good in April and it's not exam time yet. So he could have had a lot of social events or extra murals at, murals at school. Or a part of April also fall, falls into the school holidays. Maybe he had a delivery job during the holiday or he drove quite a distance to visit somebody. Right, question D. Uh, you only need to give one example in C. Uh, question D. Give one possible reason why his fuel expenses were so low in June. It is exam time. He only uh, went to school when he wrote exams and then he stayed home and studied. He, um, I almost said, yeah, right, but that can be a reason. We do not know this boy. Or his maintenance costs were very high in May, and he also had some maintenance costs in June. So he, his motorcycle might have been in the garage during June, which can be another possible answer. Right. This is Nicole. She started her first job this year. Uh, below her... Um, is summarize is a summary of her expenses over the past mu of two months. She earns one thousand nine hundred rand after taxes and UIF, and the salary is the same in December and January, as she gets a raise at the end of June. Right, so ten percent of a thousand nine hundred rand is ten uh, is times 0 comma 1 and that's 1190 so the savings for the month is 1190 for both months the total for January is already added uh, for December it's 151199 you simply just add all these amounts so is it a surplus or is it a, de de a deficit sorry difficult for me to pronounce that word so what you do is you take 11900 and you minus 15199 uh, complete the total for the surplus and the deficit blocks in the table 
Ooh, so 11900 minus 15199 gives you a deficit of 3299 Rand. But it's only an 83 Rand deficit in January. Um, actually, she still has to make up for these this amount um, that sh she had a deficit in December. So it is still a lot under. How can she cover all her expenses if she has a deficit? Gives two possible give two possible answers. She can either get another job, so increase her monthly income. She can spend less money on groceries and clothes. She can sell a car and buy a cheaper one or make use of public transport. She can move into a cheaper house that is maybe closer to her job and therefore she will also spend less on fuel. And then the last one, right? Uh, uh, sorry, the last one on this page. Question D: Write a medical cost in December as a simplified ratio of January's medical cost. So it's six hundred and twenty to three hundred and ten, two to one. It's a ra the ratio two to one. Um, e: Why are her fuel costs so much more in December than in January? She probably drove somewhere for a holiday. Uh, qu question F. Uh, calculate the percentage increase in her life and car insurance. It's a difference over the original amount times 100. So the difference will be 78 Rand minus 68 over 68 times 100. Then uh, 78 minus 68 is 10 divided by 68 times 100. Here's the calculation. And that is 14,71%. So there was a 14,71% increase in her life and car insurance. Why do you think she still has medical costs if she pays for medical aid? Medical aids do not cover all medical expenses, so you still need to sometimes pay for medicine or a doctor's visit from your pocket. Cara wants to earn pocket money by selling health muffins. Her cost for 12 large muffins, one batch, are 30 Rand for the ingredients and 5 Rand for the electricity. She doesn't have any transport expenses since, since she goes to the shop with her mum when buying the ingredients. During her free time, she walks around her neighborhood and sells the muffins. She also sells it every Friday at a school at the cake sale. Her selling price for one large muffin is 5 Rand. Her sales for April were the following. So it's muffin sold, 34, 33, 46 and 35. Uh, these were the batches made. Decide whether each item is expensive income or expense. You can write the answer in this table. Ingredients is an expense. Electricity is an expense. Selling muffins is an income. And the unsold muffins are neither income or an expense. How much does it cost her to make one muffin? Alright, so the cost is 30 plus 5 rand is 35 rand for 12 muffins. You take the 35 rand for the 12 muffins, divide it by 12 and you get 2,91 and 66 cents, which is about 2 rand 92 per muffin. How much does one uh, does she make with each muffin that she sells? Income is 5 rand per muffin. So the profit is 5 minus 2 rand 92. So that is 2 rand and 8 cents per muffin. How many muffins did not sell over the four weeks? Um, th three, three times. So she made three times she made uh, three batches. And once she made four batches. So it was 156 muffins. And she sold 34, 33, 46, and 35, so 8 muffins did not sell. Calculate the profit for April. The cost of 156 muffins was um, 2 rand 92. Um, so that's 455 rand 52 cents. Right, so those were the muffins that she made. She sold 148 muffins for 5 rand, so that's 740 rand that she was an income. So um, 
she um uh, the profit was seven uh, forty minus four fifty five and fifty two cents, which is two hundred and eighty four and forty eight cents. Or the cost was thirteen batches is thirty five is four fifty five. The income four hundred and forty eight sold is um, five rand each, and that is around uh, about two hundred and eighty five rand. Make a suggestion of what she can do to increase her profit. She can increase her selling price per muffin. She can sell more days at school, and not only on a Friday. She can sell at community uh, at a church. She can get a friend to help her sell her muffins in the neighborhood. Thank you very much. Uh, good luck with the test.